hey guys in this video we're looking at the difference between primary secondary and tertiary amines um it can get a little bit confusing but it's really important that you have clear in your mind the difference between them and the differences in how we draw them here we have ammonia if we were to remove one of the hydrogens and replace it with something else we would get a primary amine. Removing two of the hydrogens and replacing them gives us a secondary amine. Replacing three of the hydrogens gives us a tertiary amine. Now when it comes to naming things your amine is going to come at the end. Here we have a methyl group. So this is going to be methyl Amine. If we have replaced two, our amine goes at the end. This is a methyl group, this is a methyl group, there are two of them, so it is di methyl amine. Sometimes you'll see it written like this, um, just to indicate that it's a secondary amine. Replacing three of the hydrogens with methyl groups will give us try methyl amine and sometimes again it'll be nn try methyl amine just to indicate it's a tertiary amine if we are getting a bit more complicated with a methyl and methyl and an ethyl group we need to again as we do with everything start with alphabetical order so it's ethyl di because we have two of them Methyl amine. So the IUPAC's naming for amines is slightly different to a uh, common nomenclature. So whereas um, a common nomenclature will say methyl amine, the IUPAC says methane amine. Ethyl amine in common nomenclature comes ethan amine. Um, if you're looking at this for an exam, make sure you ask your teacher, make sure you check the exam specification, whether they want you to use the common nomenclature or whether they want you to use the IUPAC nomenclature. For the rest of these examples, I'm going to show you both. So here our amine group is falling on carbon number two of um, propane. So this can either be two... Propyl amine or two propane amine. So naming it just like we would any other organic compounds using the number of the longest carbon chain to indicate where things are. Last one here, a bit more complicated. We have a long carbon chain one, two, three, four. So this is going to be. Um, a butyl or a butan. Um, here we have a methyl. So this is going to be N to indicate it is a secondary methyl because that is our, 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 our lowest functional group. Two because that's where it is on the longest carbon chain butyl amine or butan amine.